Hey third grade, this is your math video lesson for 6.10. So what we're going to be learning about today is order of operations. So we're going to learn how to use order of operations to solve multi-step problems. So all you're going to need are your whiteboards and workbooks or a piece of paper. We're gonna start with doing some math review and then we're going to go into our workbooks on page 211. So on your whiteboards, I want you to solve these three problems using um, what we know about parentheses, how you solve for the parentheses first. Okay, so try these three problems on your whiteboard or piece of paper, and then when you are ready, you can start the video again. All right, so for this first one, we have five times one minus five. So remember, you are going to do the five times one first because that's in the parentheses. That is going to play into our order of operations, which we'll learn about more. So five times one is five, and then five minus five would equal zero. Five, take away five, zero. So check your answer to see if you got that one correct. And if you didn't see why, did you not start with the parentheses first, or did maybe you multiply wrong? All right, this next one, six plus four, times two, so do the parentheses first. So six plus four, which equals 10, then 10 times two, which would equal 20. So check to see if you got that one right. And then our last one, 40 minus five times two. So start with five times two, what's five times two? Which is 10, and then we would do 40 minus 10, which would equal 30, okay? So remember, parentheses, we always start with those when we're looking at problems like this. All right, so in your math workbooks, turn to page 211. So pause the video while you turn to page 211. This is problem number one at the top of your math message. Okay. So it says, Tildy and Harrison visit the dollar store. Tildy figures out how much she needs to pay by writing 1 plus 4 times 2 equals 10. Tildy says that she needs $10. She asks Harrison to check her work, and he says she only needs $9. Insert parentheses in the problems to show how Tildy, how Tildy got $10 and how Harrison got $9. So this was back in our previous lesson. We tried moving like the parentheses around to get different answers. So for this one, you wanna try it around the one plus four and the four times two and see which one gets you the correct answer, okay? So I want you to try that first and then you can start the video when you're ready to go over the correct answer. All right, so if we do it around four times two, let's just try and move it around four times two. So four times two is eight, and then you would do eight plus one, which would equal nine. So does that get us 10? No, so let's try and move it this way. So if I would do one plus four, which would equal five, five times two would equal 10. So for this problem, this is where the parentheses would go. And then how Harrison got nine was how I just did it that first way. Four times two first, so four times two is eight, then eight plus one is nine. Okay, so those are the two different ways um, that uh, Tildy and Harrison solved the problem. So for this part of the workbook page for problem number one, you just need to write the parentheses. So the Tildes, she did it around one plus four. Harrison did it around four times nine. So make sure you have those parentheses on problem number one on page 211. Part two on page 211 says, Tildy and Harrison could not agree about the correct amount. Tildy says, I want to buy one package of paper for $1 and four fashion pens for $2 each. Draw a picture to show what is happening in the problem. So I drew this. There's space for you so you can copy this picture down or if you have something else in mind, you're more than welcome to draw that. Excuse me. But what I drew is one piece of paper, so one package of paper for $1. But then she wants four fashion pens 
for $2 each. So we learned about number of stories um, the last couple days. So for that, that would um, equal a multiplication problem. So four fashion pens, $2 each. So that's what I drew here. I drew four fashion pens and I wrote a two on each of them to show $2 each. So this would be like what we would put our parentheses around. Um, I can even quickly draw a large parenthesis. Look at that. <laughs> so we could even do something like this to show that that's what we would put our parentheses around, four times two. So according, according to what Tildy wants to buy, it is actually $9. One package of paper for $1, four fashion pens for $2 each, which would equal $9. So then part three says, explain why Tildy changes her mind and now agrees with Harrison. So this is what I kind of put. Um, and again, you can pause the video to copy what I have, or if you want to explain it in your own words, you can. So I wrote four fashion pens cost $2 each. That is four times $2, which is $8. The paper costs $1. So four times two plus one, equals nine dollars. So she was actually able to save a dollar by listening to how Harrison uh, solved his problem. Okay, so pause the video. So this is what your workbook page should look like on page 211. You should have this picture or something similar just to show that one is on its own and then four times two could be tally marks um, just to show that they're separated. And then you have your explanation down here of why Tildy changes her mind and now agrees with Harrison. All right, so the next part, um, you're just going to follow along uh, while I explain what order of operations are. So it says, to avoid confusion when solving number stories, mathematicians have agreed to set it to a set of rules called the order of operations. These rules tell you what to do first and what to do next. The rules are important to follow so that everyone gets the same answer to a problem. For example, think about eight plus four times three. If someone added first and someone else multiplied first, they would get different answers. So these are the basic order of operations. So step one is do operations inside the parentheses first. So that's what we've been learning so far. Then it says follow rules two and three when computing inside parentheses. So then you multiply or divide in order from left to right the way you read. Then finally add or subtract in order from left to right. So you do parentheses first and then you multiply or divide and then you add or subtract. Those are the basic rules for the order of operations. So here's an example. So solve eight plus four times three equals D. There's no parentheses so you would multiply first then you would add. So you would do four times three, which equals 12, then eight plus 12, which equals 20. So this equation, eight plus four times three equals 20. So see how they started with multiplica multiplication first, multiplying, and then they moved to addition. If there would have been parentheses, you would have started with parentheses first and then moved to the next operation. So this one here says 10 minus six plus two. There are no parentheses and no multiplication or division signs, so you just follow rule three, which says to add and subtract in order from left to right. That's the key. So you would subtract just how it looks, 10 minus six, which equals four, and then four plus two, which equals six. So you just do it like you would read the um, equation from left to right. So what we're going to do is we are going to practice solving a few problems, but we just want to identify where do we start first. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to underline where we would start, which part of the equation. Um, so you guys are just trying to think about where you would start. So remember, though, on here, these slashes mean division. Okay, the slashes mean division. So for this one, 8 minus 2 times 3. Which would we start? Would I do eight minus two first or two times three first? So if you go back to our rules, if there's no parentheses, then we move to multiply or divide. So I would do two times three first. 
Then I move down here, 20 plus 10 divided by 2. No parentheses, so I move to multiply or divide first. So I would divide first. And then our last one, 15 minus 6 divided by 9 plus 5. I would do our parentheses first. So now I want you to pause this video and try and solve these problems on your whiteboards. All right, so you would do two times three first and then eight minus that number. So two times three is six, eight minus six would be two. Then this one, we would do 10 divided by two first, which would be five, so half of 10 is five, then 20 plus five, which would give us 25. Okay, so are your answers correct so far? Now this last one's a little tricky. So we do 15 minus six first, which would be nine, then nine divided by nine. If you divide any number by itself, you always end up with one. So this would end up being one plus five, which would equal six. Okay, so it looked a little bit more difficult than it was. So that's the basic part of order of operations. You always go left to right, you start with parentheses, move to multiplication and division, and then end with addition and subtraction. So I want to just quickly look at one or two problems on here um, to go over those examples. So if I look here, 11 minus three times three, what would I start with? 11 minus three times three. Well, if you look um, at our order of operations, we would need to start with multiplication first. So three times three is nine. So then we would do 11 minus nine, which would equal two. And I actually forgot to tell you guys, I'm sorry, this is on page 212 of your uh, math journals, 212. I thought this was um, a different slide, but yes, page 212. So one on 212 was two. All right, and then two says 15 divided by three plus two. So think of your order of operations. We would start with division first. So 15 divided by three would be five. Five plus two would be seven. Okay. Number three, 20 divided by five times two. So there's both division and multiplication. So then you just do it from left to right. So 20 divided by five would be four. Four times two would be eight. And our last one on this page, six plus four divided by two. So rule number two says we need to divide first. So four divided by two would be two. Six plus two would be eight. Okay, so pause the video. Um, if you're still confused about that, you may want to rewind and watch that part again. I'm um, just listening to me going through the order. And the last question on your workbook page says, circle the answer that makes the number sentence true. So when you are in the parentheses, guys, you do have to multiply first. So you would do three times two, which would equal six. And then we would do four plus six, because even in the parentheses, you still follow that multiplication and division first and then addition and subtraction. So three times two equals six, four plus six equals 10. So our final number for the parentheses would be 10. Then we would need to do two times 10, which would equal what? 28, 20, or 14. It would equal 20, because two times 10 is 20. And then it says, explain to a partner why you picked your answer. We talked about it. You have to go through the parentheses first, multiplication, then addition, and then go outside of the parentheses to multiplication. All right, guys, good job. You're going to practice a lot more of these problems with your um, teacher during class. Just remember, you do parentheses first, multiply or divide, add or subtract. Once you memorize those steps, it will make it easier to solve your problems.